the unique aspect of the AC-75 is whether you're out there with another boat or not, every day is filled with pressure. You go off the dock in 21, 22 knots of breeze and you hoist the main, the switch gets turned on pretty quickly and it will expose weaknesses all the way through the team. I would say 15 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, steering the boat would have been a higher priority. Right now the priority is winning. And we're incredibly fortunate, I think, to have Dean steering the boat. He is a good competitor, he's a great competitor, and that's exactly what we need. He has match experience, experience in managing a monohull of this size. He has experience across two cycles of high-performance foiling catamarans, and so he's seen really the full evolution of the cup to this point. We had a sail in the other day where we are ripping along in the high 40s, and he gave me a little, he said, come on, and I was like, we're good. <laughs> you know, we're, we're good here. And that's out of a respect for what, what can go wrong, too. I mean, the boat's got massive potential. You know, like most things, you learn a lot through those mistakes, and, yeah, I'm happy I don't have his job because the level of responsibility and the level of understanding that he has of the boat and the equipment is well beyond my capability with having to do a couple different jobs. And so I think at the end of the day, the best part of it is in front of us. The boat's incredible. The boat is an engineering marvel. And it's great to experience something that's so different and so technologically advanced. And the sheer speed of the boat is it's just phenomenal. There's a select group of sailors that have the um, capabilities to race one of these boats properly. And you, you completely recognize that the Defender and Luna Rosa and Team Minos, I mean, these are, these are good teams. And so on the day, we're going to have to have our act together. If it was our first rodeo, you'd be a little bit more nervous, but it's not. And, and so you, you, know, you trust in the, the guys that you're standing next to and the, and the voices that you hear in the, in the earpiece to get it more right than wrong. For me personally, it's been a 22-year career in chasing it. And having gone through the trials and tribulations of all of that competition, gain a better understanding and what it takes to be successful. Um, we still haven't reached that pinnacle yet, and so here we sit with an incredible opportunity, and all we have to do is make sure that we leave nothing on the table. The team is only as strong as the weakest individual. You know, this experience is, is working towards identifying areas that were weak and turning those into strengths. So as long as we win, I'm going to sleep pretty darn well at night.